We are once again in Camden. We tried to set up on the floor, Dan tried to set up the camera on the floor, but for some reason he kept getting molested or bothered by these brazen, overtly confident pigeons, which don't seem to want to budge. They're incredibly territorial. Look, I mean, turn around for me, cameraman. Look at these buggers, look. Absolutely unfazed and unbothered. The, the, the level of military sort of prowess that the pigeons have gained in London now is second to none. When I was a kid, they would bugger off. Here I am, look, I'm at head height, look. Anyway, enough about pigeons. This is the Constitution. And when we first started making short videos on Britain's lost and living pubs, this was the first property we actually visited because we were concerned for its future. In 2020, Young's bought it out and sacked everyone abruptly. And everyone was just sort of kicked out and it was left dormant and empty. And the locals were quite rightly concerned what its future would be because many of the pubs in Camden had become or have become gastro pubs or shall we say suited to different types of clientele. This was more suited to the locals and people that might have been a bit more normal, shall we say, a bit more working class. The landlady who had run it since the 80s expressed only recently in the press that she's concerned that, to be honest, the clientele won't be the same. And even if it is reopened, she doesn't think that it'll ever have it the same gusto that it once had and it won't be as pleasing to the same people as it once was. And to sort of help validate what she's saying without getting attacked by pigeons, because there's, there's some in front of you, cameraman, come towards me a bit. I want you to just quickly look at that, which now faces it. Get all this new build here, going all the way down the road. And pan this way to see what now looks at the pub. So that's it, right across there. Now these are all gonna be obviously new residents. And it's all about what, what your opinion is. You might like modern architecture. I don't, I think this is ugly. I think it destroys the place. And there was once, as I said before, a fantastic balcony on the side of the pub, which overlooked the canal, which would have been great during the evening and it would have really created a great atmosphere. You know, your atmosphere now is this. It looks like spaceships. And not only does it look like spaceships, it's bringing in a whole new list of people that probably will have no sympathies with the culture of this pub and the way it once was. So, once again, we will, as I said last time, we will keep an eye on this case. We can't be sure exactly what's going to happen to this pub. Once again, we're stressing our concern for it. If you like, it's a bit of an anniversary for us to film this now that we know something's going to happen to it because when we were here last time, there was people living above it. It looked really disheveled. What's it going to look like when they take the wrapper off? So we will see and um, we will keep our eye on it again. And no doubt the next time that we come and visit it, this army of buggers will be waiting for us just like they are today. Don't um, underestimate British pigeons. They're moving up in the world. Anyway, Constitution, ladies and gents.